if you need help building your team or selling your coins make sure you head on over to cheapmaticcoins.com for the cheapest prices fast delivery and 24-hour customer support and use code wolf for 15 percent off yo what's up everybody it's king wolf welcome to today's video today's video i'm going to show you guys more of the slot corner from the single back tight flex man i'm telling you guys since madden 15 I would run this play religiously in my gameplay. It was my main scheme, the tight flex, because it was just so awesome. Now, I'm probably going to make the switch back from the Saints, back to the bounce playbook, because they passed a lot of the stuff that I would use in the Saints playbook, man. So it's like they're coming after that playbook first. But for the most part, man, what I like about the balance playbook as well is that it has the spread formations. Three, four odd killers, man. In this Madden 20 game right here, they give you the tools necessary to beat most defenses out of the balance playbook. The only thing I don't like about the balance playbook is it doesn't have proper gun bunch uh, formation. And I do like using bunch when I need to. When I'm playing better skilled opponents, I know I can always go to gun bunch and depend on that. But in here, they don't have it. They have it out of the pistol, but I, it's not the same, man. It ain't the same as using gun bunch. Now, before we get into this, man, make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more content, become a member of the Wolf Pack. I appreciate all the love and support. And I just want to ask you guys, man, on the PS4 side, do you have a balanced playbook? Because some people were in the comments, they said they couldn't find the formation. Uh, on Xbox, it's in the balance. I don't know if it is in the Titans. Someone said that it's in the Titans playbook. If it is, I'm going to have to give it a look. If it is in the Titans, I'm going to have to give it a look uh, because they may have the gun bunch. They may have spread. If they have all three of those, then I'm probably going to be using the Titans. But it depends on what they have. I haven't looked at it yet. I haven't uh, dived into the Titans playbook this year yet. All right, so we're going to be in the single back tight flex. The only thing for this play you're going to want to do, I showed you guys in the previous video the one play TD. In this video, I'm going to show you another one play TD uh, against cover three, as well as just running it against cover two, cover three, cover four, and whatever they throw at you. So right here, best route runner, Mari Cooper on this side, fastest on the left side. And this is going to set up our, our, our setup for the cover three. On the right side, if you know how to do the wide receiver glitch, you can do it. Now, people did say in the comments that you just change your packages to the uh, strong slot, but this one doesn't have strong slot. So if you know another way, I know there's another way. I just don't know how to do it. I know how to do the other one with the strong slot, and then you just uh, substitute out the fullbacks, I mean, the tight ends for the wide receivers and stuff like that because they're changing positions. I know how to do that part. I don't know the other one, man, the, the hidden one. There's a, another version of this putting four wide receivers out there. I just don't know how to do it. So instead, I'm just going to put uh, the fast person on my depth chart, which is the fullback. I want to say linebackers are faster sometimes, but you don't want to use linebackers. Use a fullback or a tight end. Fastest, whoever you got, okay? And then right here, I'm going to run Gallup or Cobb. Just depends on what I'm going to be doing at that time. Or if I'm going to be running heavy, I'll just put my tight ends back into the formation, all right? So single back tight flex, name of the first play or the play that we're going to talk about. Like I said, literally slot corner. I mean, it's got an answer for everything. But there's other ones as well. The classic, bro, PA Waggle. That play is classic. And we're not, we haven't even talked about that yet. So slot corner, uh, we'll do man blitz because a lot of people like to man blitz. Um, and all you want to do is you just need to isolate the corner out by himself. So drag X. Okay, now you have dual drag. So if they're running man blitzes on you, you got dual drags and you have this corner out, which gets open, man. Like he, I'm talking about this guy gets open, bro. You know what I mean? Now, if you have your best route runner on the field, Things like that are going to happen. There's times you're going to break for touchdowns because that's the way it works. I mean, I get endless touchdowns. I didn't drag my man over here. Now, one thing that I do like about this play is that the release. You saw the release uh, of that corner route. They had an edge blitz coming straight at me from the get-go, but the corner route was already open. So if someone's using pinch buck on you, this is a very good play to use against the pinch buck. And I didn't get it off right there because I was just talking. I'm talking, too busy talking. You can release it pretty fast. You know what I mean? Boom. I mean, they're sending a, a, a lot of blitzing at me, but like I said, I can still get this play off. And if they don't make proper uh, adjustments in the backfield, then it's pretty much a one play TD all the time. Now, what people will do sometimes to stop that corner route is put purples out there. But that's why we have our drag routes right here. This is why we have Austin on the, on, on the left side so we can just burn that setup so if they put a purple out there to stop that corner out because you've already burned them once with it then you just start hitting your drag routes bro and austin ain't no one really going to keep up with this guy he's going to get open pretty much every single time i already had my other receiver wide open on the field so if they shade over the top shade outside you're going to come to your drag routes you know what i'm saying uh both drag routes probably going to get open let me check over here on gallup he gets open the corner routes open just so many routes to use against man blitzing setups that it's pathetic you know what i mean and people do like to run if you're coming under center they're going to run 
uh, man blitzes uh, on you out of like three, four bear, three, four odd. They're going to pinch buck you. They're going to do all that. But you already have the answer with this play right here. But the one you're looking for, man, is that Y route. If he breaks, boom. That's why you want your best route running there. Medium, uh, medium route running is key and crucial. So that's that right there against man blitzes. That's what you want to look for. Dual drags in that corner route. Corner route is going to smoke a lot of the man defenses. They throw at you. It's very easy. I've got over a thousand touchdowns in my career just running slot corner against man defense. Uh, now we're going to talk about running it against cover three. Now, if you're going to run against cover three, all you got to do is put X on a streak. Okay. Now your read is simple. Corner route, drag route. If you can hit the, the route, the B route over the middle, then if he gets underneath that blue, I wouldn't trust it because there's really nothing pushing that other blue back. But right here, you can read it as a simple flood concept. Boom. I'll hit this guy and get easy yards. So now we're changing it up. We're slowly changing the play up to suit our needs okay now remember i'm on the right hash running it this way things change different things happen all right remember we're in cover three right now and this is how we're saying we're just going to put this guy on straight now i got corner out over here because corner out's going to get underneath that hard flat you saw the hard flat coming down for the fullback coming on that drag uh no it's actually gallop coming on that drag my bad i thought it was a fullback if they do that then all you got to do is hit the drag route hit the corner out whatever that corner is doing you hit the one that he's not guarding now another thing that people mess up on online is they don't set up their proper uh pass protection so right here i'm going to slide left and then double team their best pass rusher so lb l1 right stick to the left for slide left and then lb l1 uh right stick down for double team then i double team their best pass rusher that way gives me a little bit more time to make this throw so like right here i can sit here wait for that play to break i got y i got a i can highball this to y you know what i mean i'm just giving myself more time to make the proper read uh, and wait for that that zone to break down because it breaks down pretty fast so x on a streak slide left double team their best pass rusher but he drops back into coverage which is okay boom i have a like i can hit a i can hit b I waited too long for B. That's my bad. I waited too long. But you saw how open he was. That's like I said, I showed you guys that already and how to run that uh, cover three beater. Now, what I want to show you guys is <laughs> another way to run the cover three beater that I didn't show you in the previous video. So if you stuck around, if you subscribe to the channel, you're about to learn why this play is just so awesome against cover three. Okay. There is a reason I put Austin where he's at. I just didn't do it because I felt like it to look cool for the YouTube video simple reasons for this bro okay and i'm going to show you guys right now what separates me from other people we're going to put x on a streak you're about to learn why i love this play anyone running cover three on me is going to have a hard time defending uh these plays Dif these different setups because we're not even done with all the setups we're going to run dual streaks x and a motion out our fullback put them on a comeback route if you see this right now i already know one play td to austin okay one play TD to Austin going over the left side of the field. Just like this. Rack, catch, and run. That. Oh, actually, he dove. That would have been a touchdown. If that was right, it was a pretty much a one play TD. Let's do this again. Okay? Money play master, bro. Telling you guys, single back tight flex is that formation, bro. Trust me. Dual streaks. Be on a comeback route. The corner route is going to take priority to that left blue, which leaves our fastest wide receiver going up the field for the one play TD, man. Come on, bro. Give me a like for that, man, at least. Hit the like button. What are you doing? Streak X, streak A, motion out B, put them on a comeback round. I got the best setups in the game. I can keep up with the pros. I Listen, let, let me just tell you guys something. People ask me, Wolf, why don't you compete in tournaments? I'm going to tell you guys right now. I don't have time for that. You know what you got to do? You got First of all, you got to spend money because they're not just going to let you compete without, without paying, right? Then you got to grind the game, bro. Like, if you got another job, you got to quit your job to grind this if you're going to want to make ladders and stay up there. Then you got to pay for your own trips to get over. You got to do all this weird stuff, man, to get glitched by someone that's flipping the play, running glitch. Because I know how to do the glitch they used against problem. I know how to do it. If you guys want me to show you, I'll show you. But it's kind of, you know, it's, it's, it's not really glitch. It's cheating, bro. All right. <laughs> What you do is you motion. I'm not even going to tell you guys how to do it in this video, okay? Just, I'm telling you guys right here, X, okay? Over the left side, rat catch that. Now, you see how I dip down advanced stuff, bro? I'm telling you guys, advanced stuff. You see what I'm doing with my receiver when I dip down left? You know why I do that, right? Let me just show you one time because people are going to ask me why I do that. I know they're going to ask me. 
Whenever you have someone fast, you have a, a slow wind-up quarterback because people complain about wind-ups in this game. Whenever you have a slow wind-up QB like Dak Prescott and this guy's fast, Prescott can't get to that route in time from the time that it's open to the time the ball needs to be there. So what I do is I run left to slow my wide receiver down and then I boost back up the field to catch this pass. You see what I'm saying? I do this a lot. I do this a lot. I'm telling you guys right now. It's like I do my own double move. So right here, boom, slow him down and boost back up and catch the ball. That, that's just something you're going to have to practice. It comes with just labbing a lot. I'm telling you guys right now. I lab a lot. I can keep up with the best. And this play is just phenomenal, dude. Check this out. We're going to do this again. Same thing. You see how I do that left, that, that left turn? I do that left turn on purpose. So the timing of my pass will be there and I'll still have that leverage on the safety that's trying to get me. So dual streaks, and the reason we're running dual streaks is to keep that middle blue honest. He's gonna have to stay in the middle. He's gonna have to worry about both routes, but he defers to just staying in the middle and your fastest wide receiver is going to, and if he's on the right side already, then it's just lights out every single time. You know what I mean? So that's another variation that you can run. Now, if the ball's on the left hash, and this isn't even covered too, man. Might have to make a separate video again just for this play. But what we'll do is I'll just show it to you in this video, okay? Which is just gonna be a little bit longer video. Another way you can run this is streaking X, okay? Streak X. And then drag Y, dual drags again. And what we're looking for is the fullback. Now, it all depends on the timing. If you're gonna throw this route right here against cover three, the B route, then you're gonna have to low ball this, okay? So low ball this right. What are you, wait, I couldn't, all right. That's a bum. That's the bum in me, bro. I was past the line of scrimmage, bro. Okay, so you see that? Let's just draw right here. Let me just show you guys, man, because that's why I'm running draws in this game. Look at that. Just instant block shedding. It's like it's predetermined. Like you can't run the draw. It's, it's horrible. So streaking X, dragging Y is another variation. I'm going to slide protect left and double team their best pass rusher. All right. Now I'm going to low ball this to B because he's going to be wide open. I already know he's going to be wide open. Low ball in this right here. Boom, every single time. Now, this is one play from single back type flex. You're not gonna, I, people are gonna be like, oh, we'll just use her that. Yeah, but now you're gonna have to go against Waggle. You're, you're gonna have to go against the bench. I haven't even shown you guys the rest of the plays in, in this formation yet. Like we're just on slot corner. That's how powerful this formation is. So again, streaking X, dragging Y, okay? Slide protect left, double team their pass, pass rusher. If they're running one, four, six, then you ID the mic on the guy giving you trouble. So you don't have to run this as a one play TD against cover three. You can run it that way. You know what I'm saying? If you're on the left hash, you can run it that way. And I recommend you guys actually doing that, running it that way. So streaking X, dragging Y. And if you need to hit those drag routes, then you hit the drag routes just like this. Easy chain moving offense. I got like nine yards off a drag route right there. Now, if you're noticing hard flats, right? They're coming back in hard flats. You set it up this way, then leave your corner out there, okay? Run it back this way. Now you have a simple foot. And I just fumbled the ball. That's me trying to look. Playing like a bum, bro. Okay. So many variations to this play right here. And this is just against cover three. Streak X. Now we can read it from to the left. We can read it as a simple flood. We can get behind this guy right here and throw the corner out. So you're going to have to go in there, lab it up. Lab it up. Now, I'm not going to show you against cover two because... The setups are the same exact way against cover two. It works better in cover two, except for the fact that you can't throw the one play TD because it's not cover three. You know what I mean? So Cooper won't be, I mean, Austin won't be down the field by himself, but I do have another setup, okay, from another play to go against cover two. I'm telling you guys, man, I got setups for days. So you can run it this way. You can run it with the fullback version. You can run it right here with the Y version. You can run it with Y or B. I'm, I'm just showing you guys. I'm getting sacked because I'm trying to show you guys all the open routes on the field against cover three. Look, I'm gonna do it one more time. Look at all the open routes on the field. And this guy's just gonna come at me, bro. Look, Y, B, Y. I got so many routes, bro, that I could hit. One more time so you guys see that this, this formation against cover three is just awesome. Streak X, okay? Lick. Slide protect left, and you're just gonna see all the routes. Look, A, boom, got zone's gonna break. Y, B, I got all these guys open. Pick, who do I want? And then go up the field. Simple as that. In cover two, might as well just show you guys this play one time against cover two because 
we were gonna, you know, cover four. I showed you how to beat cover four quarters. Get his cover four drop. It's gonna be the same thing. Mad defense. The play is just phenomenal against every single defense in the game. I mean, you got beaters for everything in this formation. Now you can run it the same way. You can run a flood concept style to the left. Get the drag. Get your yards. It's almost 10 yards on a drag route. That's Madden 20 in a nutshell. Okay. Next thing you can do is you can streak Y, drag an X, and now you can just look for B. Now, the reason we're doing the inside wide receiver is because it's dual uh, blues. So you got deep blues, which means this guy is just pretty much by himself. You know what I mean? Uh, you could do that. Uh, you can streak the outside guy if you want. You can streak X, drag Y. Now you have dual drags out there. You got hard flats out there. And then you got this guy can lowball this too right here. Easy money. This is just one play. This isn't, this isn't like, oh, I'll just use her that. No, you're, you're not because now I'm going to hit you with other plays in the formation. We're not done yet. Keep reiterating that because I know people are going to be telling me that in the comment section. So that is another way you can run it. Okay. You can run it as a cover two beater, cover three beater. And for cover four, it's going to be the same exact reads. You got this guy right here. Uh, you're going to have B open up in the behind the zone. As long as you streak somebody, force that blue to play it. You know what I mean? Uh, what else did I want to talk about in this video with you guys from the slot corner? Like I'm telling you guys, man, it's, we're, what we're going to talk about in future videos is going to be like a PA draw cross, PA waggle bench, a slot cross. The mess, I'm, There's just different. We haven't even gotten to the run plays yet. You can run a little run scheme out of it, blend it all in with off tackle dive. So many things out of the tight flex that you could do, man. It's just pathetic. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I love you guys, man. Peace.